Well, the Russians have been raising Cain, breaking into the computers of the Democratic National Committee and Clinton campaign chairman John Podesta. So how did they do it? Well, Charlie Daggett has been turning up clues from an investigative website called Bellingcat, which was also hacked by Russia. Debris was scattered for miles when the Malaysian plane was shot down over Ukraine in July 2014. All 298 on board were killed. The investigative website called Bellingcat was among the first to conclude that pro-Russian separatists fired the missile, and that's when the group landed squarely in the crosshairs of Russian hackers. One of Bellingcat's investigators is Eric Toller. You throw the spear in, you just hope you get a fish, right? It's called spear phishing, and he told us that's how the Russians attacked Bellingcat. You get these fake emails, and they look like they're from Google or whatever. You click them, and they steal your information, right? But they look totally legit. Yeah, at first, yeah, at first glance they do. There are a few ways you can tell. Okay. What should be a short link instead looks like this. It's this big, long monstrosity, right? Put in your password. Boom, they got you. Fearing a trap, instead, Toller and his colleagues sent the suspect emails to one of the top cybersecurity teams in the U.S., Threat Connect. They discovered that the Russian hacking group Fancy Bear had used the same spear phishing technique against Bellingcat as the DNC, as well as the hack against Clinton campaign chair John Podesta. Many used the same email service in Moscow. U.S. investigators agree this series of hacks originated in Russia. What's less clear is whether the cyber attacks were approved by the Kremlin after the fact or a part of an orchestrated campaign. Bellingcat's contributor in Moscow, Ruslan Lviv, believes they were. So I started receiving uh, phone calls uh, with death threats. Uh, you, you got phone calls with death yes, threats? Yes, many of these. After his reports exposed government deception, Lviv's online accounts were hacked. His passport, personal photographs, address, and home phone number posted online. The attackers not only hacked his computer, but they bypassed his security backup by hijacking his cell phone as well. He told us only Russia's secret service has that kind of capability. Do you believe that they were state-sponsored? Uh, absolutely sure. Absolutely sure. Yes. Are you worried for your safety? Sometimes I'm worried about my safety, but uh, it's our life. We must uh, uh, battle for our future. Battle for your future? Yes. So it's no, we don't have uh, another choice, only this. Investigators we spoke to said there is every indication that Russian hackers will try to disrupt the U.S. election, Scott. They've already been blamed for undermining elections in neighboring Ukraine. Fascinating story. Charlie Daggett in our London newsroom tonight. Charlie, thanks.